Well, there have been Eid celebrations all over the East Midlands, in homes and mosques, and even a professional cricket ground, as our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Bull reports. It's easy to see why the Eid celebrations are so focused on communities like this one at Normanton in Derby, because across the East Midlands, fewer than one in 20 people described themselves as Muslim in the last census. Here, though, it's the vast majority. It's a celebration where we get together with our families. It's really fun, and it's just meeting each other that we've probably met since ages, like family members that we haven't even seen till ages. So, yeah, it's really nice to get together. Yeah, what's the best yeah. bit about it for you? Uh, the best bit for me is particularly the food. Yeah, of course, I'm getting it for the moon time, for the rice and the roast and the fish. <laughs> it's a very big day because Ramadan is a time for forgiveness where we seek forgiveness. We've got four mosques basically. Today we've had in excess of about four or five thousand people here praying. And some of Nottingham's Muslims were invited to pray on the world famous Trent Bridge cricket ground, the first time the Nottinghamshire clubs held a ceremony for Eid. Allah. It's part of a push to encourage all communities to feel more welcome here after a scathing national report on discrimination in the sport. People, I think, are thinking it's just for certain people, so they're not too, they're too scared to either come in or not been here or come in. Some of them today have been here for the first time. So that's an experience in itself, and it encourages them to come again and again and again. One of the groups invited here today supports Muslim converts. I became Muslim 24 years ago. I came up in a white working class background, so I spent half of my life in th those environments and now half of my life worshipping in mosques. It feels nice to do it on a, that you're, not, you're knowing you're doing it on a cricket pitch, like because I'm a really big cricket fan. And for one former amateur cricketer, this was a chance to pray on a pitch where he used to play. Trent Bridge, well, <laughs> growing up, I used to actually train here. It's a beautiful place and we hope to get this whole pitch hopefully filled, uh, filled one day. Um, and I think the important thing is to gather people together and also to remember those around the world who are not so uh, fortunate as well, and especially what's going off nowadays in the Middle East. This is the first of two Eid festivals during a period when several other world religions have important celebrations too, with common themes, living better lives, and making fresh starts. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottingham.